Alrighty, happy seven days until Canada's Wonderland's grand reopening after being shut down for nearly a year and a half. It feels like it's been forever and I cannot wait to step my feet into that park and just experience everything that I miss. Over the next seven days, during our countdown, I'm going to make some pretty cool videos in my opinion that are pretty much based on my opinion about Canada's Wonderland and things that they could have done, things that they're missing, things that will never happen, etc. So in today's video, I'm gonna discuss Canada's Wonderland's biggest mistake ever. And I think this is a pretty agreeable opinion, but Wonder Mountain's Guardian, in my opinion, is Canada's Wonderland's biggest mistake. It was an attraction that had the right idea and the right location, but it just missed the mark. And I just want to explain that this is no shade at Triotech or anything. I know that Wonderland had asked for some things that aren't Triotech's fault, for example, the trains. Um, I'm not sure who's at fault for the guns, but the guns are a big part in why Wonder Mountain's Guardian simply just hasn't worked. It is truly one of the most embarrassing dark ride uh, launches I've seen. It's just, and, and if you remember, the biggest evidence that this was a flop is Cedar Fair back in the day said that they wanted one of these dark rides at every single one of their parks. Well, that stopped at Knott's. And we have already seen Knott's Berry Farm do a transition of the ride to new theming and a whole new storyline. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, don't think it's gonna happen, but super fingers crossed that we see something happen with Wonder Mountain's Guardian because it's just not hitting the mark in terms of guests. It has so many flaws from the backpack policy and guests having to use lockers, creating like a bottleneck to the very understated theming that is in this ride. It is simply just a dark ride with screens. There's no theming whatsoever. In fact, even the queue line, they attempted to do theming, but it just really missed the completion. It's like half generic ride and half dark shooter ride and like 10% theming. It's, it's just truly disappointing. And I know I sound really negative right now, but I just can't get over how awful of an attraction it is. And it's really embarrassing when you look at their competitors, Six Flags, and the dark rides that Six Flags built compared to the dark ride that Cedar Fair launched. It seems like Cedar Fair really rushed this decision with little understanding and little study into this attraction. I know it's newer and Triotech's a very new and Canadian company based out of Montreal, but it just truly didn't, it didn't work for me. I wanna hear from you guys down below at this point. What do you guys think of Wonder Mountain's Garden? Do you think I'm over hating on the ride? Do you think that this ride is a lot better than what I'm making it out to seem? Are there any haters? Are there any lovers? Comment down below. I don't think there's any right or wrong answers. Again, this video is simply my opinion, but I'm very curious to think what, or hear what a lot of you have to say about it. Now, that brings me to the question. Well, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to hate on Wonder Mountain's Guardian? I do hate that it took up like two levels of the mountain and it could have been utilized better. And I'm gonna go over how they could have utilized it better. So I think you guys are gonna like that. So for those of you that don't know, uh, there's a mock, uh, not mock launch, a mock powered suspended coaster. Very similar to Thunder Run, but almost inverted and suspended if you could, if you could picture that. I'm gonna show you some examples here on the screen now. But I think that Wonder Mountain's Guardian would have been better as a family powered coaster. I know that we already have one Thunder Run, but a suspended one that tells the story. You have the, the carts that change direction, very similar to Wonder Mountain's Garden, even though that changes direction once and it stays in that position. It would have been cool to have it move around a little more and tell a story with some more theming. And I know it would have cost a lot more, but you could have incorporated that as a bigger addition and spread out some smaller additions in between. Um, I just wish there was a little more planning. It would have been really cool to utilize the mountain a little more, maybe use the two levels for this powered uh, suspended coaster and then have it exit the mountain into International Show Place and use that plot of land for its outdoor kind of like co coaster section like you see at Europa Park. I think that would have been really cool to see. And um, 
Um, I just, it, I just really, again, I can't emphasize that they really missed the mark. There were so many options out there. Even Sally Dark Rides would have been a really cool option for Cedar Fair to use for their Dark Rides. We already have some Sally Rides, Sally Dark Rides at Canada's Wonderland. You know, you have the Boo Blasters and uh, you have like those awesome Dark Rides that Six Flags built, the Dark Knight. I believe that's what it's called. Again, drag me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it would have been really cool to see some sort of other option instead of really going outside of the box with this. I know that Canada's Wonderland likes to test out a few things, but I think this is where it starts to bite them in the butt um, when they do start testing unique things like this. That being said, um, I do really hope that we, if it isn't going to change and, you know, they're not going to eventually remove it, I really do hope they spend the money to fix this ride, get better projectors, get working guns, and fix the problems that the, the ride currently has. And I would really like to see theming. It's really disappointing uh, to see what Knott's Berry Farm got with theming around the screens, um, and then to see what we were given with just screens. Um, and uh, concrete in our mountain. So it was, it was a big letdown, and I really do hope that, you know, they spend a couple extra million dollars to fix up this ride and make it work. Um, but again, I really do feel like a mock powered suspended coaster would have done wonders for the park. It would have been more family oriented, and it could have told, you know, the whole story and history of Canada's Wonderland with the mountain and the dragon. It could have told a really cool adventure, and I would have loved to see what they could have done with that. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think could have been in place of Wonder Mountain's Guardian? Do you agree with the powered suspended coaster by Mach, or do you think something else would have served better in its place? I know a lot of enthusiasts like to see just thrill coasters, but if you're looking at a theme park like Canada's Wonderland that's more family oriented what do you think would have served better in this plot of land um, than uh, this current triotech ride anyways um, <laughs> I don't know what else I could possibly say to drag this ride any further and I don't know what else I could really say like I honestly really want to see a mock um, powered suspended coaster at Canada's Wonderland. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. And I definitely don't think they're gonna remove this coaster and retrofit it with a mock now. It would cost way too much money. And I don't think the mountain can house those suspended supports, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a reason we have this and not, you know, another dark ride. We don't know everything that a theme park goes through in terms of planning and all that, but I really do w think that <laughs> Wonder Mountain's Guardian was a flop. And I know that's really negative to say, and I know that's, you know, pretty harsh, but I just don't see the benefit of this ride. It definitely doesn't draw attendance. It's definitely not popular. And I know a lot of guests come off this ride super disappointed that their gun didn't work. And it's super uncalibrated too. Also, they did cheap out on projectors. These are not really good projectors. Uh, there are definitely better in the industry. And I would have liked to see something. Um, but nonetheless, hopefully our next dark ride at Canada's Wonderland is a lot better because we definitely need more dark rides. We need rides that are capable of winter now because of Winterfest. And I can't wait to see what Canada's Wonderland has up their sleeves for more indoor dark ride attractions. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Happy seven days to Canada's Wonderland's opening. And I hope you're as excited as I am. And thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, your opinions and uh yeah if you want to join us over in discord the link's down below you definitely should it's like a forum and it's very active voice chat anyways thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you had an amazing weekend and happy new week <laughs> bye